Hey everyone, Happy New Year, thanks for your time. At the beginning of 2024, the very beginning, the next big Artemis test flights, Artemis II and the Starship ship-to-ship -ship propellant transfer demonstration were supposed to be flown by the end of the year. As 2025 begins, looking back, we got all the way through 2024, and not only did those test flights not happen, but the view looking forward is largely the same. Those Artemis and Starship flight tests seem as far away as they did a year ago, and during most of 2024, we didn't really get a clear picture of how far away they were and why. NASA and its commercial partners are making progress towards future flights on their schedules, assuming Artemis isn't reorganized before that, but whatever progress was made was only the self-evident milestones. Some of the biggest mysteries going into 2024 were never addressed during 2024, and some of the biggest mysteries that came up during 2024 weren't addressed for the rest of the year. I'll take a look at a few of those mysteries in this video, and how the politics coming out of November's presidential election could change the questions for all of those, as we wonder, big picture, what happens to Artemis and inside Artemis in 2025. The biggest theme of Artemis in 2024 was another year of infrequent status updates and granted interviews, and another year of unanswered information requests. As 2025 opens, the question is, Will Artemis be more open, or is the privacy and non-disclosure now an institutionalized part of NASA? Starship made four highly successful prototype test flights, the rest of the Artemis II flight hardware was delivered to the launch site, and NASA started stacking it at the very end of the year. But public updates about development progress were kept to a minimum during 2024, and less and less context and forward outlook was provided as it went by and it's still mostly unclear in public where things stand relative to the major Artemis milestones. At the beginning of 2025, NASA still expresses some desire to fly Artemis II by the end of the year, and of course, Starship says the prop transfer demo is happening this year. To be fair, it wasn't long into 2024 before Artemis II was delayed. Less than two weeks into the year, Artemis II was pushed all the way from the end of 2024 to September 2025, and then with about four weeks left in the year, it was delayed again to April 2026. Starship is privately developed by SpaceX, so an explicit delay was never announced. Spaceflight is private business now, and there aren't any interim or overnight bills to look at or debug. All that is done in secrecy. For Artemis, even though the goals are still mostly public ones, the rest is pre-decisional and disclosure is tightly controlled. The progress made last year was in some cases spectacular, but simultaneously inconclusive and ambiguous. Little else was disclosed and we're still left without much guidance or detail provided about the forward outlook for the Artemis mission still scheduled for the rest of the 2020s, at least for now. Just like the online information databases, I have accumulated several years of information during my work with NSF, NASA Spaceflight, and prior to that. However, the amount of new information being shared in public is declining as the U.S. government transfers control of their space flight programs to launch and transportation services provided by and controlled by private business. We're more reliant on past information or sporadic data dumps from previous years to fill in most of the blanks left when a picture is published without comment or with little context attached. For news now, everyone out here in public is more reliant on, let's face it, leaks. 2024 just happened to be when I started this podcast, in large part because doing deep dives based on Artemis News became unsustainable, coincidentally after the COVID-19 pandemic. If we go through a few of the big news items or unanswered questions, we see that NASA and the Artemis contractors had little or no official public comment about them. They were reported on by quote-unquote the media. In other words, they were leaked or they were long-standing questions that the space agency declined to speak about and private business declines to speak about as a matter of policy, or sometimes both. For example, NASA has been looking at alternative mission profiles for Artemis III for a while because of late and or unproven schedules for the different programs playing a role in the baseline mission, which is the first lunar landing of U.S. astronauts since Apollo 17 in December of 1972. There were already questions about whether SpaceX could finish all the Starship development necessary to fly Artemis III in time. 
That's all NASA said in 2023, but they did say it. In 2024, news about alternative missions for Artemis 3, in case Starship wasn't ready in time, came from the space agency, but not from an official release. Information provided by sources to Eric Berger was published in a story he wrote for Ars Technica in mid-April. Despite several attempts to get a better understanding of what was happening, NASA never provided any details. There was a flat tire metaphor and an off-ramp metaphor, but not much else. Artemis 3 is not only dependent on Starship development, but also Orion and SLS development and the Artemis 2 mission. And as it turned out, Artemis 2 was significantly delayed by the Orion heat shield investigation and issues completing development of the Orion spacecraft's crew rating. Those Artemis 2 delays themselves bookended the year, with a 10-month delay in January 2024 and then another 7-month delay in December 2024 but almost nothing in the way of public advisories in between. By the time that NASA held the press conference in December to announce the second delay, there was little doubt there would be one. It was more a question of how long the delay would be. In that December press conference, NASA exploration leadership also started talking about trying to leverage Starship capabilities at the time they now forecast Artemis II will be ready to launch, basically somewhere in the first quarter of 2026. They indicated they are looking at Starship's ability to demonstrate simultaneous in-space operations with Orion at the time of Artemis II, perhaps as early as a year from now. That's interesting and could mean that we're talking about what Starship could be ready to do with Artemis II first now, in addition to all the milestones necessary for Artemis III. Regardless, the uncertainties about Artemis II and III are continuing examples of questions that NASA either didn't address and or declined to comment on throughout most of 2024. That long set of questions about the details of Artemis III alternatives I talked about in videos back in October haven't completely gone away, because it still isn't clear when the different programs will be ready for Artemis III. Another mystery that was never addressed in 2024, and that now might be resolved for different reasons, was the status of a consolidated commercial SLS contract. That contract was once expected to be signed by the end of 2023, and the last update we got was from NASA's Inspector General Office in a report published in October of 2023. By that time, NASA had split the transition to a commercial SLS contract into two phases, with the contract for the first phase expected to be signed by the spring of 2024. Well, now it's 2025, and the only other words about status was that NASA was still studying a commercial contract. The uncertain contract situation has made the future of SLS an obvious question for a long time. Since the spring of 2024 was the last update, I made a video at the end of May that went through the details and all the unanswered questions. Underlying the questions about the status of a study or the status of contract negotiations is the bigger question of whether a commercial SLS contract is still viable in 2025 and or whether Boeing and Northrop Grumman are still interested in pursuing it. They are the partners in the Deep Space Transport joint venture that NASA had identified as the sole possible provider. On top of that, SLS is now perceived to be in some jeopardy, so the ultimate answer or the resolution of this question may come from that place rather than revised plans for the future. Or, at the very least, if there is a future for SLS, those future plans could no longer be valid. The target launch date for the initial gateway elements also became a bigger mystery during 2024. Prior to January 2024, the previous target date was October 2025. However, that date was redesignated as under review at the time of the Artemis update a year ago on January 9, 2024. A formal joint confidence level assessment a few weeks prior to this had internally projected that the elements, the co-manifested power and propulsion element, and the habitation and logistics outpost would not be ready to launch until December 2027. That information was not released until mid-March with the fiscal year 2024 budget request. At the time, it was noted that the December 2027 assessment was a risk-informed assessment and that NASA was managing work to a more aggressive schedule. A graphic provided with the budget request materials displayed the launch in fiscal year 2026, which starts on October 1, 2025, but that was not noted anywhere else in the text. And that was the last word in public for the remainder of the year from NASA. 
The most recent public update was provided by the Government Accounting Office in a report published in late July, which reported that NASA anticipated determining an updated target launch date in the summer of 2024. However, an update was never publicly announced. Given the multiple risks that have been realized in schedules across the different Artemis programs and the silence for the remainder of the year, the risk-informed December 2027 date could end up having more longevity than a new target date. We've seen near-term milestones for the gateway element slipping, which raises schedule questions, and then there's this uncertainty with a target launch date that remained unresolved throughout 2024. Underlying the question about the target launch date is the question about when it will be ready to launch and whether that is somewhere between fiscal year 2026 and December 2027. All of these mysteries are currently overshadowed by the question of what happens when President Trump's second term begins in the middle of the month. We will probably be talking about that a lot too. At least until there's more clarity about what Artemis programs the new administration plans to keep and what they plan to terminate. Depending on what Trump and senior advisor Elon Musk decide to go after, some of these long-standing questions could be invalidated. For example, if they decide to terminate SLS, as the rumors suggest, that would answer many of the questions about its future. And so on for whatever big changes they propose to other programs. Thanks as always for watching. Click on the like button if you found this video informative. Now that the two week long holiday break is coming to a close, we're two weeks away from President Trump taking over again, and the rumors will probably continue for some amount of time. But we will be closely watching to see when the first details of a plan become public.